can get another one. You're ordering another beer? Yep, this is a bar. Your ex-husband is losing it and you're just going to stand here? Thanks. I don't need the bottles. Where are we going now? Okay, Sonny thought he saw his car explode in the parking lot. That is not normal behavior. How Sonny's first wife, Lily, died. In the parking lot of your dad's old club. Okay, so you agree. Your ex-husband, who is the father of your children, is flipping out and hallucinating. Shouldn't you be doing something now? This is what I'm doing. You still love so It doesn't really matter how I feel about Sonny because we're poison for each other. But if you could help him now, you should do I, what If I go to Sonny's, we're going to hurt each other because that's what we do. That's what we're good at. But if that's true, then why did you marry him three times? It wasn't a storybook romance, Lilo. Look, in the beginning, Sonny had no use for me, and the feeling was mutual. We became close by accident. Jason was out of town, and I was desperate to find him, so I went to Sonny's. And when I got to the penthouse, it looked like a war zone. Sonny was bleeding, and he was holding a broken picture frame and talking about his dead wife. So what did you do? I tried to call for help, but he didn't want me to. Sonny told me to get out of there, and I couldn't. I, I couldn't leave him. He certainly didn't like that either. Well, at least you tried to help. I helped because Sonny was Jason's best friend. And I knew that Jason would never leave him. So I couldn't. So I stayed and I let Sonny yell at me and smash things around me until he finally wanted to talk. So I listened. And that's when he told me that he destroyed the people that he loved. And I don't know, I, I... I guess it was the way he blamed himself that just made me, um... I don't know. It just got to me. So, is that when you fell in love with Sonny? What is it about our family, at least with the women, where we say one thing and do the exact opposite like with my dad i tell him that i don't care and i really do more than anything it's okay to want your dad to love you yeah but why can't i just be honest and tell him exactly how i feel instead of bending over backwards just to get his approval you would not believe some of the ridiculous things that i've done oh anything you've done i'm sure i've done worse i'm not so sure <laughs> when i want something i will do anything to get it like, there's there's this guy, and um, he's completely into another girl, and I know that he deserves better. Like you. Like me. Yeah, you sound exactly <laughs> like my mom. You miss her. There's no point, because the doctors say she isn't getting out anytime soon. It must really freak you out to hear people say how much you look like her. I mean, they think they're paying you a compliment, but you wonder, am I going to end up sick like her? My dad says that that's not going to happen because I think like a Spencer. Your dad's right. And you're never going to hear me saying that very often. But it's true. Spencers are tough. And we're survivors. And from what I can see... You're one of them. Of course, it's easier to survive when you don't self-destruct and marry the same guy three times <laughs> when he thinks you're a liar, and you know he's an arrogant pig. Well, maybe chasing after a last cause just runs in the family. <sighs> Speak for yourself. I don't want to do it anymore, Miss Sunny. I can't. I can't help him this time because it would be the first step into falling in love with him again. Just an observation. It sounds to me like you never stopped loving him. I have two kids that I really need to build a life with. 
I can't help Sunny. I can't go back just to help. It would, it would be like an alcoholic saying they can have just one drink. I know how Sunny and I are together. We're all or nothing. So you're going to lure Georgie to some isolated place, and then uh, I will happen to find him what will hopefully be a compromising position. I'll run to Dylan, have him drag it out of me that you and Georgie had sex. That, that won't work. She's going to deny it ever happened. So will you. You will deny it so believably, Dylan won't know who to believe. That could work. It's a simple plan. If Dylan trusts Georgie, then... He believes that you guys didn't have sex, but if Dylan believes that Georgie's lying, then it's proof that they don't belong together. You comfort Georgie, I comfort Dylan, everyone gets what they want. Hey, you sounded weird on the phone, are you um, okay? Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you what the hell's wrong with all the people around. Tell me what. Have you... Ever felt like there was no one in your family who really understood you? Uh, the quarter mate, what do you think? <laughs> okay, good point. Um, it's just that I have felt that way my entire life until now. Yeah? What changed? When I was talking with Carly, it hit me. Carly is the only person that really understands me. She gets me because she and I are so alike in so many ways. Oh, Carly. You and Carly are so alike in so many ways. Yeah, okay. Well, right. you say that like it's a bad thing. No, I'm just... I'm, are you talking about the same person as I am? Blonde, about five seven, happens to associate herself with a gangster Exactly. Or two? Carly and I like to take chances. Yeah, and Carly's chances include drugging people like my cousin AJ and dumping them in laundry. Uh, exactly my point. Carly and I both come up with crazy schemes because we want to get attention. And we sabotage ourselves by doing the wrong things because we think it's for all the right reasons. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to be honest, especially with you. Um, I know what this is about. You do? Yeah, this is about you and Diego. But I know that you don't really like Diego, and you're just uh, hanging around him so that you can keep Georgie. No, that's, that's not what I... Have. No, 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 you know, I know you're going to try to deny it right now, and I know that you're going to do it. You don't have to, okay? Diego's not giving up on Georgie. And and for some reason, no matter how much he screws up, she's just going to keep on buying into his whole reformed act. And I, you're running interference. I get that. I, I appreciate that. But this is all on Georgie right now. And she keeps telling me. She keeps saying, you know, she only wants to be with me and me, and me forever, but... But if she cheats on me with Diego, there's no coming back from that. You know what I mean? I, we can't be together. We'd be over.